walking in 14 miles in in a great continental divide in southern Colorado, we were limited to the amount of things that we could bring, only the stuff that we could put on our ATVs. Now I'm all about roughing it, but I also want to enjoy my adventure. When we got back, we started searching for a trailer that was small enough to endure the tight switchbacks in the Rockies, but also tough enough to endure the terrain and wide enough to be carried by our ATVs and not put a lot of stress on them. And we couldn't find one anywhere. So we turn to the people who have been doing this for years, the fabricators at Irwin Manufacturing. They know how to optimize every square inch of a trailer. Now let me show you all the amazing product they came up with. It is ridiculous, y'all. This is a really good angle for us to start looking at this trailer because when we design a trailer, we're gonna design it from the bottom to the top. In this particular case, we're sticking with the 3,500 pound axles that are specially made for us by Rockwell American. They're 48 inches long. They have three inch press bearings in them. It's a three inch casing with at three sixteenths thickness. Now, we have put over 900 of these axles out on the road you know, without one problem. So why would we want to change it now? We wouldn't. Hello everybody, my name's Tim Irwin and as I'm known around here, Tabitha's dad. I'm also the US patent holder of the OMG and now a new product that we're really excited to show you. And I'm Jessica Miller. I get to be the account manager for this badass new product. So let's go back to the bottom. Another reason we like the heavier axle is because of the hardware that comes with it. Um, you know, it offers more durability. And in this particular trailer, we're gonna need durability. Yeah, you are. We're also using 660 pound rings on each side. Also very heavy for this trailer, but because of the impact that we expected to take, we wanted it. Another advantage of having the larger axle, it gives us more durability. So we have utmost confidence that it will hold up because the places we go helps a long way away. Seriously, look at that rock. Another thing as a manufacturer we have to consider is the highway. Um, we need that three inch press bearing because we're only running 12 inch tires and with smaller axles they can get hot. Out of 900 trailers that we put out here and temperature testing after high speed, we've never had an issue. But let's go back to this picture. Cause it's awesome. You can see on the bottom of it that it does have a, a skid plate that is quarter inch steel. And while we've got this picture up, let's talk a little bit about weight and balance. You can see in this particular picture that it's, it's uh, veering to the right. Cause y'all took the ice chest off so it threw off the balance. Yeah, Jess, you're right. If we would have left the ice chest on there, it probably would have flew a little straighter, but we'll never know. Well, we could jump that sucker again. I'm sure we will. But still that weight and balance. Let me take a second to talk to you about the tongue because when we're talking about weight and balance then the tongue is a very important part of this. On this particular tongue what we did is we made it to where it was adjustable. If you're going to pull it down the highway then you're going to want a longer tongue for a little smoother ride. When you get up on tight trails you're going to want to tighten it up you know, so that it tracks behind the ATV and it removes also when you're putting it in your garage or when you get it to your campsite so you don't trip over it. Now the tongue weight is 32 pounds extended for highway use and it's uh, 39 pounds retracted for off-road use. So not a lot of tongue weight here. Now the drag weight is 78 pounds and that's on a flat normal surface. You know, it's gonna vary depending on the terrain that you're in. But the reason we didn't want a lot of drag weight and the reason we went with the center axle design is because we love our ATVs. We didn't wanna put a lot of stress on the belts. Now in the testing, we primarily used our uh, Razor 1000, but we also tested it with our Polaris 400 and our um, O2 stroke trail blades. Now on our prototype, we incorporated an articulating hitch. You can see some by the footage why we needed it. It goes 360 degrees around, 78 degrees in each side, and then uh, 74 degrees side to side. Wow, that's crazy. But we didn't add it as a standard option to this trailer. And the reason is, is because a lot of people who just want to go to campgrounds or take their kayaks out or, you know, haul their bicycles, they didn't need it. So why make them pay for it? And that's why all of our customers love us. 
But if you're gonna use it the way we used it, then you definitely want it. The last thing you want is that ball popping off and hitting you in the back of the head. You're definitely gonna wanna get one. Now, according to Polaris's website, our stock razor 1000 is supposed to tip at 30.2 degrees. This trailer right here will tip at 30.5. So theoretically, the razor will flip before the trailer does. But we really don't want that. So in a, you have to take into account the bouncing and all of that that happens. So most likely the trailer is going to go. Well, I know it is because we flipped it and we did it on purpose. After several attempts, what we did is we came off of this hill right here. Now the wheelbase on the Razor is wider than, than the trailer. So what we did is we tried to spraddle that little bump at the top of the hill to get the trailer to bounce. And finally, after four attempts, we did it. The reason we did it is to show you this. You see this piece of curb strapping to the top of the trailer? It has two purposes. One is if you hit an incline and it bounces over and hits a tree, it doesn't destroy the trailer, it rights the ship. On the other hand, if it flips over, then that catches it before it does any damage to the rest of the trailer. And I say if, because you can see in this film as we slow it down, in this particular instance, it didn't flip, it set itself right back down. We had to work pretty hard to flip this. But we did. Watch us not be able to get it back over. That suck with Yeah. I don't feel like it was that hard to last. Yeah, it wasn't that hard. Okay. Didn't even hurt it. So how hard was it? We took it out back, hooked it up to a scale, and found out it was only 158 pounds to lift it. So 158 pounds divided by two people is only 79 pounds per person to lift. So now, I guess because I'm an asshole, I wanted to see if the girls could do it by themselves while all the men stood around. And guess what? They did. Of course we did. So why is it difficult to flip but so easy to turn over? For that answer, we have to find out what the CG is. CG standing for center of gravity. To achieve this, we did the same thing we did with military testing. We brought it in, we stood it up on its end, and then balanced it up on this bar. Using this data, or data, depending on where you live, and we calculated it against the tilt ratio that we had done earlier, and we came up with a very interesting finding. Now remember on our tilt test, we came up with 30.5 degrees or it tilts. So we figured out that the center of gravity is 30.2 inches off of the pavement. So that means the CG is right below the Blackstone Grill. And that's dry. If you add water, the CG is going to go down. Yeah, that's good. So while we had all of our equipment out, we decided we would see what the hanging weight of this is, is because it's going to be different than a scale weight. Yes, you heard him right. 395 to 397. Now that's with the water tanks empty and all the gear removed. The, you add water to it, the CG's gonna go down. You add cargo to the top, the CG's gonna go up. Now I know you're ready to talk about these tires. Why did we put 12 inch tires on it? And the reason is, is because, first of all, we have to make sure this thing is highway appropriate. So we couldn't just put big old mother tires on it. Also, we were trying to eliminate the drag upon your machine. Another reason is, is because it has a grill on it, so you have to maintain the cooking height. In the testing of this trailer, we did everything with these wheels on it at full inflation. Now, if you're gonna do some off-roading, you know, you need to take some air out of it and then put some air back in it when you're done, which is easy here because it has its own compressor. Let's talk about some of the other practical features this trailer has. This right here is a predator deterrent system. It's supposed to flash and keep you know, coyotes and wolves and other predators out of your camp. The uh, manufacturer's website says it also works on bears. But from somebody who has spent some time in the mountains, I can tell you, if you fry bacon, you're gonna find bears. Dr. Simmer blood tests were bad. Said I had high cholesterol His suggestion
made me mad No solution at all Saying I can't have my pork No answer Cause it won't work Some risk are worth the taking You keep the pills I'll keep the bacon I'll keep the bacon Oh, anyway, on this side right here, you can see that we have a 24 by 24 cutout so you can use, you know, your Yetis or whatever ice chest that you like. On this one, we do have a powered one that's on ours. It doesn't come on the model because, you know, different people like different things. So that's what we have. We have a fishing pole holder over here because, uh, you know, we like to fish. And you can see the propane storage is right there in the front. And that front end lifts up becomes a fish cleaning station you have your water right there it's also a shower you can see the young lady earlier in the video was taking one you mean whitney in the back you can see that it folds down what that screen is for is actually one of my favorite things about the whole trailer so what this is is the, it's a screen to keep all your pots and pans in of course there's a pin that keeps your pans in but you can put an ice chest there while you're traveling and you know fold it down and put your ice chest there while you're traveling so it's an extra ice chest store storage place for you here's a better look at the pan storage and then you can keep your coffee pots and things right there my favorite thing about this trailer is the fireplace in the back you know we just came from some of the national forests in uh, colorado and in california and you know because of the wildfires they are prohibiting campfires but if you have a containment like this, some of them will still let you do it. So you can build your fire in there. And the key is now the screen will fold up and, um, you know, protect your fire and, you know, work within their guidelines. You'll have to check with each national park and ranger station before you do it. But we found that that, you know, works. What fun is camping without a fire? How are you going to make your s'mores? Tell your ghost story. And speaking of the fire, once we build a fire, we don't want to waste the smoke. I mean, we're, we're Texans. So we put the, uh, the smoker right above the flame so that it comes in. There's a damper inside that you can adjust it. Uh, it doesn't look very big, but, you know, we're roughing it. So uh, you can put a couple chickens in there or, you know, whatever you want. Next to it is the, this black, the Blackstone, the new Blackstone that came out. We really like it. Uh, it's their tailgate edition. Um, you can remove that piece that has the orange slices sitting on what appears to be fish and you take it off and then you have an open burner then you can do fish fry it right you know roll it in cornmeal and fry it next to it you have a griddle you know that is great for breakfast it's great for hamburgers you know great for all kinds of stuff in the middle we have gear storage it folds up and then you know you can lock it but uh, we put our tents and, you know, our knives and things like that. Just, you know, whatever you want to put in there. It's a handy piece to have. This is the 2000 watt inverter. It has USB ports and then three, you know, regular uh, power outlets. You can see the cell phone booster above that. The cell phone booster comes with a 25 foot cord that's rolled up underneath. And the reason that we didn't mount it is because sometimes, you know, you need to move around. Uh, you can put it up on top, see if you get a signal. If not, you might need to climb a tree. Also, you see the speakers that are up there. They, that's real handy. If you're tailgating, you can play music off your phone. Um, we actually do hunting calls off of it. You know, probably in the promotional video, you saw Tabitha up there, you know, firing off the top of it out of the stool. Uh, there's table storage up there. If you watch real close in one of our films, you probably saw the table bounce out of there because we didn't have it tied in um, just a lot of things you can have uh, right below that over there where the can opener is that's pretty much where the water line is if uh, you don't get it above that you're not going to damage anything and we've done the best we could to protect everything above that this right here is an accessory piece and it has uh, several different functions first of all you can put it in the front that connects to the front of the trailer then the tongue would hook to that so while you're traveling you know going from to your location uh, that right there could hold another ice chest you know in case there's you know any beer involved in your camping oh uh, yeah i don't want more ice chests so then you can carry one in the front one in the back and three in the razor 
After you get it there, then you can either slide it in here and use it as a table. You can slide it where that ice chest is and use it as a table, or you can put it on the ground and use it as a place to stand on while you take a shower so you're not standing in mud or you don't have to wear any shoes. But again, that is a, an accessory piece. This piece right here, this tool comes out and you can use it as a, you know, as a fire poker or you can use it to dig with if you get stuck or you can um, use it as a hole to uh, level up your um, camping area. Plus, it opens up for a great opportunity for hosing the wood jokes. <laughs> Here's another look at the throne. Uh, you can turn it around and uh, use your Bluetooth, you know, download an app on your phone for predator calls, you know, calling predators if you want. Um, and if it's a little cool out, you can even, you know, light your grill up and keep a little heat up there. Or you can turn it around, you can fish off the back, you know, it's got that barber. Uh, chair style footrest on it. It's extremely comfortable. If you look up in the front, you'll see an axe. And an axe is um, on there. And, you know, if you've ever had to back woods up in the trails and stuff, you know how handy an axe can be. Or and when you're camping, you, you, know, you need an axe. Fish fries. Now, if you're going to trailer the way we trailer, you're going to need 14 feet. Of course, you know, you can stick the front uh, or the back of the trailer, however you have it loaded over. So technically, you need 12 foot of deck space to move it like this. That pull out in the back, it pulls out and folds in. You can use it as a step or it also holds the um, screen as it folds down. Also has an inside receiver where you can attach, you know, other things that you may already have like, uh, you know, canoe and kayak racks or uh, a dressing stand you know, a deer dressing stand, or um, even um, a bike rack can go right there too. You know, another great thing about this is you don't have to spend a day packing and a day unpacking. This thing is already loaded with your tent, your air mattress, whatever things you need. You just put your food and your drinks on and you're ready to go. Also, only takes up a footprint of about what a riding lawnmower would in your garage. So you can store it there and then when you're ready to go, you just go. The water tank here is made of 16 gauge, food grade stainless steel. No, we didn't put plastic on our trailer. And it holds 7.5 gallons of fresh water. Hey, we could hide our beer in that on federal land. But we're not. We could. But we're not. But what we are going to do is explore. We're going to spend time with our family. We're going to enjoy our adventure. And who knows, we may even solve an age old mystery. We designed it, we built it, we tested it, so you too can go enjoy your adventure.